It was truly a, a once in a lifetime experience, getting down there and interacting with the, the Puerto Rican people um, and just meeting uh, different colleagues all across the Dominion system was just, it was truly a once in a lifetime. The construction that they have there is just so different, having to figure out what to do. It took us a week or so to kind of figure out and then the roads are really, really bumpy so that was like riding across a cornfield every day just about. What we accomplished over a 30 day period uh, was unreal. I mean we uh, we ended up working in steep terrain uh, and uh, the areas that we were in, the amount of uh, damage that was done, the material that we were working with, we were able to kind of work through uh, and we were able to accomplish quite a bit with that. We got down there on their 130th day mark without power and Every time we drove by, you know, any Puerto Rican people, they would honk their horns, wave, give us the thumbs up, and, and every customer that we came upon on a job site was just so grateful. They would make us lunch every day. They would, you know, offer us bottled water, and it was just, they, they were truly a bunch of great people. To be out of power for five months and have them take the time to cook lunch for crews of 13, two weeks in a row, and then they, when we moved across the mountain, they actually brought them meals to them over on the other side of the mountain. It's just astonishing to me that these folks would go out of their way to show their appreciation, but they were very thankful. And for me, I, I just, it really was heartwarming to know that we were there to help them out.